Yo, 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 or should I say, ho, ho, ho. That is right, everybody. Welcome. It is officially Christmas Eve here in Seoul, South Korea. That's right. So it's about 7.40 p.m. So I think Santa is probably somewhere en route. So I hope you have made Santa's nice list and not the naughty list. And you're going to get something wonderful. All right, so because it is Christmas Eve, I thought we should spend it together. So I am in my little festive gear. I got my little Santa hat. Isn't it wonderful? And I thought, hey, why don't we just hang out for a little bit and have a good time? So I haven't actually live streamed this whole year. I am so sorry about that. So I thought, well, it's kind of the end of the year, but why don't we uh, just get together and hang out for a bit? So I hope you are doing so well and having a wonderful Christmas Eve. Um, if you're here in Asia, this part of the world, it's evening. And I think if you're waking up in America or other parts of the Western culture society, that part of the world, it's probably sometime in the morning. But regardless, welcome. And if you're watching this on replay, then thank you so much for joining us. And yeah, so we just want to have kind of a little bit of a casual chat. Let's get to know each other and hang out. So to kind of help me out here, I figured what better way to get in the Christmas spirit than with some boozy eggnog. So I absolutely love this stuff. So I'm not even sure, um, depending on where you're watching this from, if you're familiar with eggnog, but it's something, it's kind of a Christmassy drink that we have a lot in the States. So it's made up of whipping cream and raw eggs and cinnamon and all kinds of stuff. It's kind of an acquired taste. I think a lot of people don't really enjoy this. However, I've always been a huge fan. And what makes eggnog even better on Christmas Eve than with a little bit of booze, not going to lie. So I have some of this Emperor Light, which is a brandy that I brought back from Manila that I've just been waiting to try out. And... And I'm just waiting to try this out. So I figured what better way than the Christmas Eve. Sorry, my dog is barking in the background. Shh. Go to bed. Santa's coming. All right. So let's uh, – hey, guys. Oh, Joy. Hi. Welcome. So good to see you. Hi, Noobs Gaming. Hey, Joy. I saw your comment on Facebook. I see you're uh, going to have a boring Christmas, you said. So welcome, Merry Christmas, Unyu. Hello, hi. Hope everybody's doing well. Where are you all watching from? I know Joy is somewhere in the states. Unyu, I'm imagining you're probably in Korea. Noobs Gaming, um, not sure. Are you guys familiar with eggnog? I like I said, I absolutely love this stuff. It's really hard to find this in Korea. But I know of one store in all of Seoul that sells it. It didn't come cheap. So for this, it was 16,000 won. So about 15 US dollars. It's probably much, much cheaper in the States. But hey, one time a year, it is well worth it. Hi, we have Hero Saw. Put lime or calamansi in your emperor door. That would be wonderful. Um, Actually, we don't have calamansi here in Korea. It it's non-existent and lime is so hard to find and super, super expensive. So not going to do that. Maybe later I will get some calamansi juice and we'll do some emperor door and calamansi. But today we're going to do it with eggnog to get in the Christmas spirit. Joy, you're in Switzerland. I, sorry, I'm confused. I thought you were in the States for some reason. And then I know you were visiting the Philippines when right after I was visiting. So uh, yeah, hope everything's well in Switzerland. Jaden, you, hello, welcome, long time no see. So it's Christmas time, like so I'm going to get in the Christmas spirit. Have you guys tried this, Emperor Door Light? Um, as you probably know, I've tried a lot of different Filipino alcohols, and everybody told me I just had to try this one out. So that's what I'm doing. I have yet to try it. So this will be my first time. So it says it's a premium brandy liqueur. Meticulously blended to attain an extra smooth character, full body, and notably distinctive aroma. Ooh. 
It says it's premium though, so we'll see. I have not tried it yet. My first rule of trying new alcohol is never smell the alcohol, but I'm going to break my rule. I'm going to smell it. Oh, it actually doesn't smell bad. So let's, uh, ooh, I probably should have got something to stir this with. This is probably going to be a bad mistake. But I'm just going to pour a little bit in there, a little bit of a boozy eggnog. So drinking an American drink with some Filipino brandy in Korea on Christmas Eve. And I'm spending it all with you guys, so really happy about that. Where's Mr. Bulbul? That is a great question. I imagine Mr. Bulbul is probably spending it with his baby and his wife because, as you know, he's got a young kid, so they're probably doing something for Christmas. I haven't talked to him today. Uh, maybe I'll send him a message and see. Mr. Bulbul actually lives... Not very close to me. Uh, so I live in Seoul. He lives in a different city. So it takes him a while to come here. But Noobs Gaming, have you watched our videos with Mr. Bulbul? So I've done two videos now with him. I did one a few weeks ago with uh, Mr. Bulbul and Stitch Choi. All three of us got together and did videos for all of our channels. So it was really fun. So make sure you watch both of those videos. Yeah, hopefully I'll get together with Mr. Bulbul Again, I don't know, maybe after the new year. It'll be fun. He's always a good guy. So I'm sure we'll hang out again soon. All right, well, I want to get in the Christmas spirit. So I'm going to take a little drink of this here. And cheers to you for joining me here on Christmas Eve. If you have a drink, cheers. If not, uh, cheers in your mind, I guess. So <laughs> here we go. Ooh. Oh, that's quite lovely. Yeah, so uh, eggnog, if you're not, if you don't know about it, it's really thick. It's almost like a milkshake, like uh, melted ice cream, like something like that consistency, like a milkshake. Again, a lot of people hate this stuff, but I love it, and I cannot wait every Christmas season to have it, but it's really hard to find in Korea, so I usually don't get it very often, but once every few years, I'm able to get it. So I'm super happy to do that. So if you're in Seoul and you want some eggnog, let me know. I've got a whole bunch of it. Uh, it is really sweet, though. But this Emperor with it, the brandy, tastes really, really good together. I have not tried this on its own. So uh, maybe if we start having fun, if we get enough people, maybe I'll take a shot of it if you want to see that. Uh, Joy, some people say they mix with Coke. Oh, okay. Nice. In Switzerland, so for me, it's boring. Uh, well, Switzerland looks really beautiful, though, Joy. I was just talking about it today with some students, and we all agreed it looks really beautiful. But yeah, I'm sure if you're from the Philippines, you're used to beautiful, warm Christmas time, so in Switzerland, it might be cold. Hirosa, cheers. Emperor is originally from Spain. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. It sounds like... Uh, the Spanish word. It says it was distilled in Quezon City. But yeah, you can definitely see how it comes from the Spaniards. So yeah, I uh, if you ever get a chance to try it together, I really, I'm going to recommend it, guys. Mmm. Really good. I think the, the eggnog is just so thick that... It's so creamy and rich that it cuts the flavor of the brandy a lot. So you don't get all that taste in it. So it's a little softer, a little smoother. Um, I wonder how the Emperor would taste with some Hanibra or maybe Korean soju. Maybe that's what I should have done. I should have done a whole taste test of eggnog with different alcohols. We could have had the Emperor, we could have had Korean soju, we could have had Hanibra, but actually I don't have any Hanibra right now. I have a little bit of, I do have some soju in my refrigerator. Um, and I do have some Lombanog actually. I haven't tried the Lombanog yet, but Lombanog and eggnog, that might be a bit of a Christmas hangover, I think, so I might want to avoid that. All right, so, Again, cheers. So does anybody have any Christmas plans? I figured 
since it's Christmas Eve, let's just chat about Christmas. So we have people from all over. So how are you guys celebrating Christmas? What are you doing? Are you spending it with your families here in Korea? Um, Christmas Eve and Christmas is all about being with a couple. And so it's a big date night. So on Christmas Eve, especially the young people, they get together with their boyfriends or girlfriends and they buy these really nice Christmas cakes and kind of go out for dates and things like that. But I'm spending it with you guys and Emperor. And yeah, it's wonderful. Mm. Lovely. It's a really good match. I think I could have um, made it a little bit stronger. But again, I want to avoid that Christmas hangover. So I'm not going to make it too strong right now. But if I get brave enough, maybe a little bit later in the live stream, I've got my Boracay shot glass. Can you see that? It tastes so good. Maybe I'll try to take a shot of that. I don't know. I'm a little scared. Maybe if this video gets up to like uh, 20 thumbs up, 20 likes, maybe I'll do that. Hirosa, snowy outside. Actually, it's not. Um, it's not going to be a white Christmas, unfortunately, here in Korea, at least in Seoul. It was actually pretty warm today. Um, in Celsius, it's probably like, I don't know, six or seven degrees. And in Fahrenheit, somewhere in the mid 40s, I would say. So it's actually been really warm for December. Like, it's kind of crazy just how warm it is. So definitely too warm for snow. Unfortunately, we had a little bit of snow one day over the winter, but that was it. Yeah, it's just been really strangely unseasonably warm here in Korea this winter. Usually by this time of the year, it is cold. It is windy. It's just awful. You don't want to go outside, but yeah, it's actually been really nice most of the year. Joy says, don't try Lombanog in the Philippines. I watched on TV they died because of Lombanog. I guess they stopped selling for a while. Yeah, I've heard the same thing, or you, people can actually go blind. So I think that's kind of the one that's made at home. People kind of make it. Um, in the States, we have something called Moonshine, which is very similar. And I know in Indonesia, they have something that's very similar. So people are creating it at home, and the alcohol gets too high. But the stuff I bought is very, very safe. I bought it in the airport. It's professionally, like, you don't worry about dying. Um, I tried it in a, a recent video, actually. If you haven't seen my video with a whole bunch of different Filipino alcohols, I met another YouTuber named Alex here in Korea. He's a really cool guy. And we played beer pong with a whole bunch of different Filipino alcohols. It was a lot of fun. Um if you haven't watched that, you should, but it was our both of our first times trying Lombanog. We just had like one shot of it. It was really uh, interesting, it was really strong, that's for sure. But yeah, so the stuff we have, um, some of our friends, some of my subscribers and friends and fellow YouTubers brought it to me, so it's, I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, I agree. I uh, will be careful not to try it the next time I'm in the Philippines. I'll stay away. Oh, this is really yummy, though. Ah. Hope you guys get a chance to try eggnog. Apparently, you can make it. People say it's really easy to make. I've never attempted to make it, so I couldn't tell you. But I think if you just have milk and sugar and egg yolk and cinnamon and nutmeg and I don't know. I don't really don't know what else you need. But whatever it is you need, you can probably make this quite easily when you're at home. All right. So I got, part of the reason I wanted to do this live stream as well is because when I started YouTube last year in 2018, I did a few live streams and I really wanted to kind of incorporate it more into my channel and do maybe weekly live streams, just kind of chatting and getting to know people. Um, but I kind of failed on that. And didn't really get around to doing it. I only did a few live streams in 2018. And in 2019, my channel has grown so much. So I'm sure if you're watching this, you probably joined in the past few months. Thank you so much 
first of all, for subscribing and joining and watching. And I love seeing a lot of you, our regular viewers and commenters, especially Joy, always active. I always appreciate that so much. It always makes me smile when I see your name pop up on Facebook or uh, YouTube or anything like that. But yeah, thanks so much for joining. And then 2020 will be coming up here soon and hoping that we can have some amazing things happen for this channel and everything else that goes with it. So if you don't know, I have a website, www.tastesoulgood.com. You can check that out. Hoping to really get more of that going and uh, get the channel growing a little bit more and just keep growing as much as possible. And it is Christmas Eve and if somebody wants to say hi, my little, my little Gift that keeps on giving. Say hello to this little boy. Hey. This is my favorite boy right here. He's a little cold. He's a little old, so he's wearing a jacket. This is JK. Say hi, JK. Hey. He's such a lap dog, so anytime I do anything, he has to be on my lap or touching me or laying with me at all times. So he couldn't bear to be in the other room while I was in here live streaming. So he's... uh. He's a good little boy. All right. He's actually really kind of an old man. He's uh, going on nine years old for Maltese. So he's uh, getting up there in age, but he's my best buddy. All right. All right. So anytime I'm editing or doing anything, he is always right here. So he's actually a great companion and a wonderful lap dog. So he's going to spend the rest of the video sitting right here on my lap. So if you hear snoring, I promise it's not me. It's him. He snores as he's gotten older. But yeah, going to let him sit on my lap. There you go. All right. So yeah, you can see he's he's here. He'll put his head down. He'll fall asleep in like two minutes. So he's uh always got to get attention. Uh, thanks, Paul, for saying that to me. Appreciate it. Of course, Joy. I appreciate you always supporting the channel and everything else. So, yeah, hopefully one day we, we might be in the same place at the same time if you're in Korea or for both in the Philippines at the same time or if I happen to be in Switzerland, that would be amazing. So we'll see. Maybe sometime uh, we can uh, grab a meal together, a coffee or something. So never know. Jaden, you so cute. Oh, me or the dog? The dog, of course. Everybody says he's so cute because, of course, he is. Hero, so what is Merry Christmas in Korea? Um, it's actually the same. It's like Merry Christmas. -a. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of words they don't really have. Christmas isn't really a huge thing here. Uh, Korea is a lot of Buddhist. I would say it's probably mostly Buddhist. I could be wrong about that. But the actual celebration of Christmas isn't that big. But I've lived in Korea a number of years, and it seems like each year is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And there's really no word. So they use the English. They just kind of put it in their uh, alphabet. So the pronunciation is a little bit different. So yeah, it would be Merry Christmas uh, as far as I know. Uh, do you noobs gaming? Do you still have Hanibra? I do not. The I had a few bottles of it and I had uh finished it last week, a few weeks ago, when I was with uh Mr. Bulbul and Stitch Choi. So we had some Hanibra, Stitch's first Hanibra. Oh, speak of Mr. Bulbul, look who we have. Mr. Bulbul recommended this live streaming. Well, thank you, Mr. Bulbul. Good to see you. Everybody's been asking about you. So they come to my live stream and ask, where's Mr. Bulbul? Where's Mr. Bulbul? But uh, I'm assuming you're probably having a great time with your family. Hope uh, baby Bulbul is having a wonderful Christmas Eve. So, yeah, thanks for stopping by, Mr. Bulbul. We have a celebrity in the house, so let's all uh, raise our glasses to Mr. Bull Bull. Cheers. Mm. Wonderful. Um, 
Mr. Bubo is here. Yes, he is. Joy, yeah, I wish I could meet you in the Philippines. We go in Jollibee. Yes, if we're in Jollibee, let's meet up. Uh, I could definitely go for – what's the the Hawaiian yum burger, the one with the pineapple? I love that one. Of course, I love the spaghetti and chicken joy, but I also love – I love the Jollibee breakfast. Uh, they have the breakfast burger with the egg. Oh, it is so good. And the corn sea log, the corn beef hash meal. Yeah, I love Jollibee all together. But I still haven't tried the mango peach pie. I need to get on that. Uh, Laubora Rivera, wow. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Bobo, anyway, your camera likes Emperor, than you. Your camera is in focus of Emperor. Really? Yeah, Emperor is better to look at than me. Or is that better? On my screen, it looks in focus, but maybe I've just got drunk eyes. Uh, maybe turn it around. Mr. Bulbler, do you know eggnog? Have you ever tried this? It's an American uh, Christmas drink. If not, maybe I should save you some. You have to try this. Some American eggnog in the brandy, the Emperor. It's a really great combination. It's a really thick – here, you guys can see how thick it is. I don't know. Maybe you can't tell. It's super thick and super creamy. Yeah, it's good stuff. I'll try to save you some, Mr. Bull Bull. I'm not sure how long it will last until January 9th. So if I see you before then, <laughs> enjoy. Puppy, lay down. I'm going to try this again. Uh, condensed milk. No, it's actually not condensed milk. Um, it is a really popular drink. We drink it at Christmas time in the States. It's got, uh, it's milk and cream and sugar and cinnamon and, um, eggs. It's got actually raw eggs in it. Maybe this one doesn't have real eggs in it, but usually when you make it, you put eggs in it. And it's a unique flavor. Some Koreans say it tastes like banana, banana milk, banana uyu. Um, it kind of does, but much thicker. It's like a melted ice cream type of thing. But you can only really find this at Christmas time in the States. So this actually came, I believe, from the Army base. <laughs> so it came off the American Army base. Um, it's just pretty amazing. So, but yeah, it tastes totally different than the condensed milk. But yeah. If maybe I can pick some more up, if I see you in the next few weeks, I will try to bring this to you so you can try it. Cause I think you'll really like it. If you mix it with some of that, maybe some Emperor I was telling them earlier, I want to try it with a whole bunch of different things, like maybe some soju. I don't know what else would be good. Maybe some whiskey, some Jack Daniels and eggnog. Usually we put brandy in it. Noobs ask, are you doing Noche Buena later? Oh. Oof. I think that one. I might have made it a little bit too strong. I got a little too bright the first one. It wasn't very strong, so I was able to drink that without a problem. Now you see my camera keeps going in and out of focus. Sorry. I, uh, I'm i a newbie. I don't live stream very often, so that's my goal for 2020. Try to do at least one or two live streams a month just to try it because it's a totally different experience. So, yeah. Maybe you'll see more live streams coming up later. So, oh, sorry, my dog is burping over here. Mr. Blue Blue just finished Red Horse and Balut and Silkworm. Oh, did you try Bondegi? Is that what you're talking? Silkworm, Bondegi? Red Horse, Balut, and Bondegi. Oh, you are, uh, <laughs> I hope that's a video. Because Balut and Bondegi, uh, 
if you guys don't know, I'm assuming what Mr. Booble is talking about. Bondegi is a small, little brown silkworm pupa larva thing. I'm not a fan. I'm not really a huge fan of Balut either, though. But the three of those. Ooh. Mmm. Pinoy versus Korean. Who nice. Balut versus Silkworm. You should have tried Honga. Introduce Honga. I think that could have been <laughs> also quite interesting. Honga and Balut. I know you said last time uh, it's not easy to get Balut in Korea. So maybe uh, you're able to find that. Mr. Bulbo, I think there are two kinds of difficult foods. Okay, what are the two kinds? Two kinds of difficult foods. Hero, so do you know what bulbul means? Um, if you're asking him, I'm pretty sure he knows. And if you're asking me, yes, I also know what it means. In Korean, Mr. Bulbul would be Mr. Fire Fire. But I know in Korean or in uh, the Filipino language it has a totally different meaning. So yeah, I'm aware. One's good looking food but tastes crazy. Two looks gross but tastes normal. Okay. One good looking food but tastes crazy. Huh. What would be an example of something that looks good but tastes crazy? Number two looks gross but tastes normal. That is easy. I think for me, um, Dinoguan was. <laughs> Something like that. It looked really gross to me. I was really scared to try Dinogon. But I actually really, really enjoyed it. I was shocked. I was When I made the video eating Dinogon, I was like, oh, I'm not going to like this. It looks scary. I'm not a vampire. But I loved it, actually. Um, Diana says, hey there, Mr. Bulbul. Mr. Oh, Honga. Honga looks good but tastes crazy? Yeah. I guess. It looks like any other type of raw fish, I guess. Yeah, if you guys don't know, uh, honga is like a fermented, I think, skate fish. It almost looks like a stingray. And they, so it's uh, kind of a triangular fish. And they ferment it in its own urine, I believe. And when you eat it, it gives you this really, really strong ammonia flavor. And it makes you just like, it is a really, really strong flavor. So you eat it with kimchi and boiled pork and some other stuff. I tell you, I am not a fan. There are two foods that I think I never want to try again. One is honga. The second one is cucumber. Guys, I hate cucumber so much. So much. Uh, Joy, what about soup number five? Haha, ha, that's you for me. You know, Joy, soup number five actually wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. The broth was actually quite yummy. It was really pretty tasty. And then <laughs> as far as the meat goes, uh, how do I say this? There were two types of meat. Um, the, the, the balls. <laughs> were disgusting. I didn't like that at all. But the other part, I think you call them the bat, if you get my point. That actually wasn't bad. It just tasted like uh, like pork fat or something. It wasn't nearly as bad as I expected it to be. So would I eat it again? Eh, I probably wouldn't order it. I think it was 600 pesos for one bowl of it, maybe. So it wasn't very cheap. But I did have to go to Chinatown. But it was a good experience, something that I really wanted to try out once in my life. So I'm glad I tried soup number five, but not something I'm really dying to try again. Uh, Crimson Sykes, sup, bros? Sup? We're just hanging out, chatting, drinking on this wonderful Christmas Eve. What's up with you, Crimson? Jaden, yeah, soup number five. 
Super Number 5 wasn't that bad. It really wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. So many things in life I think you just uh, tell yourself it's going to be awful. It's going to be awful. And once you try it, it's like, eh, maybe it's not great, but it's not nearly as bad as you expected. So, yeah. Again, would I order it again? Probably not. Am I glad I did it? Yeah. I've eaten much worse. Uh, this soup only for men to get strong. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Probably also for dumb tourists to go to Chinatown to try. But yeah, I saw a lot of vloggers, Mark Weens and Sonny from the Best Ever Food Review Show. They had to try the soup number five. So if they had to try it, I had to try it. So, you know, it's also, I think food is so cool. Like when you're traveling, you get to learn so much about a culture and a new country by trying their local cuisine. And not everything is going to be very comfortable, right? So I grew up in small town America and even moving to Korea, I had to kind of open my mind to a lot of different things. And I'm glad I did because there's so many wonderful things that I never would have tried. So that's one thing that I like about Filipino food. It really kind of pushes my limits of what I think I would like. And for the most part, I've enjoyed it all. Like I enjoyed the blood soup. I enjoyed, uh, I didn't really enjoy Balut, but I tried it. It wasn't as bad as I expected. Same as soup number five. So, um, yeah. Oop, Mr. Bulbo is here. He has heroes. He is. <laughs> Uh, Chris, I'm not going to lie, but balls probably ain't that bad, but the soup was just soaked in oil. <laughs> oh, I think you were the one. You commented, you told me, uh, I should go to the place that Mark Weens went to. I think you commented that, right? And yeah, I wanted to, because I think there's two famous places. The place that I went to, Cafe Mezzanine, is where Sonny from the Best Ever Food Review Show went to. And then the other place... Uh, Mark Weens went to, I wanted to go there, but the timing didn't work. And I got to the Chinatown really late. Um, traffic was just awful from where I was staying in Makati to Chinatown. So I didn't go there. 002 Kauai. Hi, Paul. Merry Christmas. Hello. Merry Christmas to you as well. 002 Kauai. Hope you're having a wonderful Christmas Eve. Cheers to you. Yeah. Hope you have a wonderful Christmas day tomorrow. Noobs Gaming, we need more collab by Paul and Mr. Bulbul. Hey, I'm always happy to collaborate with him. He's always a fun guy. Um, you know, we've done two collaborations in the past, like, two months. So a lot of it, I think, is just scheduling, right? He lives not very close to where I live, so... It's kind of hard for us to plan it, but yeah, I'm um, hopefully we'll get to do it again soon. If you want more, the, give give us ideas, right? So yeah, feel free to let us know what you want us to do, and we'll go from there. Um, maybe it's maybe. Sending dirty messages. All right. So, oh, super chat from Mr. Bulbul Manwan. Well, thank you so much, sir. Cheers to you. It's actually my very first ever super chat because I have uh, just started live streaming. So, I'm super happy about that. So, thank you so much for that. Well, thank you. Um, actually, I have a Christmas gift for you as well the next time I see you. But I made hmm, – how about – I think this calls for a shot. So let's uh, – everybody. And if you guys don't know, I'm sure everybody here knows Mr. Bulbul. Bull. I'm sure you – if you know me, surely you know him. But if you don't, head over to his channel and check it out. He's doing a lot of really cool stuff. He's a, a Soju Avenger. So thank you so much for that, Mr. Bulbul. So I'm going to uh, try my very first shot just for you because I appreciate that so much. 
And I hope you and your family are having a wonderful Christmas. So I'm nervous. You know, I don't like to take shots very much, but here we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh it's so strong. Oh, oh, Jesus, take the wheel. I think that's my my catchphrase. That'll put you right in the Christmas spirit right there. A little bit of Emperor Door in a shot. Paul, you know is Mr. Bull Bull. Ha ha. Joy, yes. Having you seen our videos, we have a few videos together. So um, if you go back to my channel, I have a video mm, from about two weeks ago. We met up and did some cooking. And then from about a month ago, we have some videos together that we did. So go check out both of our channels, Joy. You can see both of our collaborations. And then on another YouTuber, Stitch, Stitch Choi, he also has some collaborations. So all three of us got together and cooked some food and hung out and drank. Mr. Bull Bull, actually, I owe you Sungip Salt. Yes, yes, you do. How many views has that video gotten up to? So if you guys don't know, um, the first time I met Mr. Bull Bull, we did a collaboration. And he said, if this video got more than 80,000 views by the end of this year, he would buy me Sungip Salt. But the last time I checked, that video had like 500,000 or 600,000 views. I was still hoping to get to 2 million. It didn't. So unfortunately that didn't happen, but maybe it will. Maybe that video will still become popular. I'm crossing my fingers for you. That's 2 million views. I know it's much more than 80,000. So yeah, Mr. Bubble, I actually have, uh, maybe we can do a Lombanog and Sungip Sol night. I have a bottle of Lombanog that uh, somebody brought to me. So Maybe we can get Stitch back for uh, Sun Gipsol and uh, Lumbanog Night. Let me know. Uh, can you please say hello, Paul, thoroughly? Please, please say hello, Paul, thoroughly. <laughs> Who's Paul thoroughly? But is that you? O Y H? Is your name Paul thoroughly? If it is, hello. <laughs> That's all. My name's Paul as well. No, I mean, you know words, booble, what it means that is. Uh, yeah, I know what it means in your language. Yeah, I know it's kind of a funny uh, expression. Isn't it? It's some type of bird, right? I think it's a bird. In Korean, it would be like fire, fire. So, Lemonog is not safe to drink nowadays. Tox toxicity is so high. Um yeah, I think we were talking about that earlier. So you, I agree, it can be very unsafe, but I think the stuff that I have is much safer. It's mass produced, it's 80 proof, it's not that strong. So I think it'll be okay. It's not like something's buying off the street from a random person, it's a manufactured type of thing. Uh, por favor. Uh, Hi, hi, nicer. Hi there. Please shout out my name. All right. Well, hi, P nicer, P nicer. I don't know. Oh, uh, joy. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know what it means. So of course I'm familiar uh, with what that means. So yeah, it's a cute name. I think he has a story behind it. But one of yeah, it's funny. Um, if you love Korea, you must love kimchi. Do you eat kimchi? Hirosa, yeah. I eat kimchi almost every day. Um, did I eat kimchi today? No, I don't think I ate kimchi today. But of course, I have kimchi in my refrigerator. I make kimchi. I have a whole video on how to make kimchi. So if you're ever interested in how to make some easy kimchi, then let me know or go back to my channel. You can find a really easy recipe. It's not the most traditional, but it's easy. Um, I have some great kimchi that I just got from actually my boss's homemade kimchi, which is really lovely. So yeah, I eat kimchi almost every day. Of course, it's a staple in Korea. It's a staple in my diet. 
something that I eat almost daily, not every day, but most days. Pie nicer or pea nicer. I have a feeling that that uh, that name's a little dirty sounding, so I'm hesitant to say it too much. Mr. Bulbul, if you're still there, have you ever seen this? Moonbay Sul? It's some type of uh some type of soju moon basil apparently it's kind of rare um 40 proof i've not tried it but i was given this as a gift mr bull bull so if you're around let's try this one together it's supposed to be really good i've heard i don't know i'm saving it for a special day so it's for you. Uh, can you finish that bottle? John Kenneth Improza, you want me to finish this bottle of Emperor? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, it's Christmas Eve. So I guess if enough people want to come hang out and chat, then maybe maybe we will. So stick around. Pi or P is my name and nicer is my last name. Okay. Well, nice to meet you. P nicer. Where are you from? I don't recognize your name, so nice to meet you. Welcome. Noobs Gaming, we need another shot in that Borakai glass. Um, ha, noobs, you're trouble. You're a troublemaker. Maybe in a few minutes. Yeah. Maybe if we can get this up to 15 thumbs up, 15 likes, then I'll take another shot. So if you haven't given this video a thumbs up, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if it gets to 15 thumbs up, I'll take another shot of the Emperor door. How about that? That's a deal. All right. Um, Mr. Booboo says, it looks like a perfume. It does, right? It's fancy. No, it says soju. Soju Mita. Moon Basil. It was, it was given to me as a gift. So... Yeah, I'm not sure. It looks nice. We'll try it together. It's 40 proof. Hopefully it's good. I figure it's not a green bottle, so the quality must be really good. So, uh, Soju Avengers. I watched your last video with your Hoishi, with your college friends. It was like you guys had some good times. That sushi in the video, the Hoi looked really, really yummy. Um, P. Nicer's Philippines. Well, thank you for watching. Of course, we all love the Philippines. Crimson Sky, Paul versus, Paul versus Mr. Blue Bull, Emperor and Labanok Showdown. Yo, let's make it happen. Um, I wouldn't really call it a showdown because I always tend to lose. But, yeah, let's do it sometime. Uh, if we can get that scheduled... If you want to see it, let us know. Definitely make that happen. Be nice for what's my Pluton. Um, I actually don't have any. I'm kind of sorry to say. So I actually just ate dinner before I came in here. And I was going to cook something up to bring it, but I didn't really want to eat on camera as I'm live streaming and drinking. I don't know. It just felt odd. So I don't have anything yet. So in Korean, they actually call that Anju. It's uh, like a side dish when you're eating. So very similar. And I must admit, I'm not really good at it. Like I, in American style, we don't really eat when we drink. You eat and you drink and then you eat. Kind of a three-step process. Eat, drink, eat. But you don't really mix the processes. So I guess I'm just used to eating dinner and then drinking and then afterwards eating again. So I don't have anything with me, but hey, I've got eggnog. And eggnog is <laughs> plenty. Uh got plenty of calories to keep my stomach coated. So yeah, if you want the uh if you still want that shot, I'm gonna get to 15 thumbs up. 
Mrs. Bulbul asked me to say to me and my cameraman, Merry Christmas. Mr. Bulbul, please tell her and a baby Bulbul and you as well, all Merry Christmas and happy holidays. And hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you're doing something fun tomorrow. And I hope Santa comes and brings baby Bulbul something amazing. But yes, please also tell her I said Merry Christmas. I hope to see you guys soon. Let's uh, try to get together sometime and hang out. Are you doing anything tonight? Are you drinking? Or are you just finished the video? That's right. Or are you just finished drinking, rather? All right. But yeah, Merry Christmas to all of you as well. So we've got 12 thumbs up on the video. So like I said, once we get to that 15, I'll take another shot for you guys. <laughs> You're drunk now? Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So we'll save this. Once we get to 15 thumbs up, I'll take that shot. So if you haven't hit thumbs up on this video, then go ahead and do it now. What did you drink, Mr. Bulbul? Soju? Is it a soju night for you? I think after this video, I'm going to go do a little bit more drinking. So I'm hesitant to get too drunk, but we've got 13 thumbs up already on this video. So once we get two more, I'll take that shot. I can already tell my face is getting red, and I'm getting more talkative. As you guys all know. Oh, that's right. Red Horse. Red Horse and Honga and or Red Horse Bondegi and Balut. That's right. <laughs> Baby Bulbo, what a cute name, yeah. Yeah, probably to some people that's not a very uh, appropriate name. I found a red horse seller near my town, eight thousand won. 8,000 for how much? One liter? Like one big one? That website sells, I think, one liter. Yeah, the website is one liter's 9,000. Um, so, yeah, here's a little cheaper. 9,000 plus shipping. But yeah, Red Horse is good stuff. I wonder, um, do they sell Red Horse? They probably do at the Filipino market in Heihua. I'm sure they do. I haven't looked for it. But I still like Stitch's restaurant with the uh, Red Horse on draft. That was some good stuff as well. Is anybody else drinking? So I'm obviously drinking the Emperor. Mr. Bulbul was, was drinking Red Horse. Anybody else out there having a Christmas cocktail? Let me know. I'm kind of interested to know if you guys are celebrating Christmas with a cocktail or beverage or something, a beer, glass of wine, Christmas mold wine. Or no, maybe just the two of us. <laughs> so does anybody have any big plans for christmas day so i know christmas is on a wednesday this year which is so such a random day so i'm planning to take it easy have some fun tonight on christmas eve take it easy on christmas day and then go back to work on thursday so kind of a weird weird week John Kenneth and Proza, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you too, sir. I hope you and your family have a great day wherever you are. And so I love uh, spending Christmas just listening to Christmas music. Do you guys all have a favorite Christmas song? Because I love Christmas music. I'm one of those people that will listen to Christmas music in like any time of the year. So it makes me really happy. When I was in... 
the Philippines back in, um, I think, October. I went in October for a weekend, and it was already Christmas season in Manila. I was so happy. I walked into a store. They were playing Ariana Grande, uh, Santa Tell Me. And I was like, this is my first time to hear Christmas music in October. It was even before Halloween, and I loved it. So if I ever get a chance, I want to spend a lot more time in the Philippines during Christmas time because I love Christmas, and I think Filipinos love Christmas. So Christmas is getting much better bigger in Korea, I think. When I first moved here, it wasn't that famous and not that popular, but I think these days it's becoming much bigger. So that makes me much happier. So I just put out a video last night. If you guys haven't checked it out, you should go watch it. Um, I went to two different Christmas festivals here in Seoul, a European Christmas festival and a really nice light festival. So if you guys haven't watched that, after this video, you should go watch it. It's a really short video. I met up with my friend Jack. I'm having lunch now here, adobo and rice. Let's eat, guys. Joy, what time is it in Switzerland? Here in Korea, it is 8.31 p.m. So it's after dinner time. It's drinking time. So we got 14 thumbs up again, as I promised. Once, uh, once we get to that 15 thumbs up, I'll take that other shot. I drink milk just in front of my PC. Fantastic, Kuros. It's very healthy, right? I guess I'm kind of drinking milk. Eggnog has a lot of milk in it, so it makes me uh, calcium or something. I don't know. Welcome, Nicholas Diego. I was walking down the street one day, and I passed the gun store. Uh, I walked in, and everything was half off. I didn't know school sales had started early. Nicholas, wow, that is uh, incredibly in inappropriate, sir. Yeah. Um, we shouldn't. Yeah. I'm going to uh, delete that comment. Twelve thirty-one p.m. Here I'm drinking lemon water. <laughs> lemon water is always healthy as well. Oh, we got up to our fifteen likes on this video. So as I promised, once we got to fifteen likes, I would take a shot. You guys trying to uh, really make sure I uh, get Christmas, Christmas inebriated, Christmas drunk. So here's to you guys for all of your Christmas. Uh, joy and Christmas spirit and Christmas happiness and every day. So cheers. Merry Christmas. Ooh. 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 Oh, it's like the Grinch is so Christmas. Ooh. And it's room temperature. It's not even chilled. I don't think it was a great idea, you guys. Oh, it was a uh, strong noobs gaming. No impression challenge while drinking. Noobs gaming. If you know anything about me, that is basically impossible. I think uh, anytime I take a strong shot, my face just becomes awful. I can't hold it, and I can't hold it. So. No impression challenge. Uh, is that a thing? You know, Mr. Bulbul, he will have no impression. He will just drink that. But me, oof. I, uh, oof. I'm not sure if that's possible. Tage cheers, Konbe. Konbe to you, sir. Just wrapped up with preparing for the yearly midnight Christmas feast. Ah, I have heard about this Christmas feast. It sounds really cool. So is that what you call uh, Buena Noche? Is that what that is at Christmas? I know I've watched videos of it. Obviously, I've never spent time in the Philippines um, during the Christmas time yet. But what do you eat? What do you guys eat in the Philippines? So in America for Christmas, we eat turkey or ham, a lot of different things. 
in Korea, they a lot of cakes, Christmas cakes. But in the Philippines, what's kind of the traditional Christmas food? What do you guys normally eat? I'm curious to know. I'm going to go for This eggnog is really filling. I don't think you're supposed to drink this much at one time, but I'm going to do it. It makes for a good chaser for the uh, for that emperor door. Normally sweet spaghetti and adobo. Faux show. Faux show. I, um, of course I love adobo. See, I told you earlier he would still be here sleeping. You'll forget about him, but he's there. I had to move my legs, but here he is. My son. Don't we look alike? Um, and sweet spaghetti. Yeah, I the first time I tried the sweet spaghetti in um, the Philippines, I tried it from McDonald's, and I wasn't a huge fan of it. But then I, later I tried it from Jollibee, and I like Jollibee's version a lot better. So it was something that I know a lot of Americans don't really like, that sweet spaghetti. Uh, but I enjoyed it. Um, I think a lot of... The, um, the, the, like spaghetti sauces and pizza sauces and things like that in Korea are much sweeter than they are in the States. So I've gotten kind of used to it. Yeah, I would definitely eat some, uh, sweet spaghetti as well. How is that eggnog expiration date? Um... It expires on January 9th. I don't know if you can see that up here. Best by January 9th. So, got about two weeks until it expires. If you think, uh, there's still quite a bit in here. So if you think I will see you before that, I will be sure to save you some. Or I'll go to the store and pick up another one. It shouldn't be that hard. And you can try it. We can try it. Um, it actually also for New Year's. Uh, maybe we can have a, a New Year's Eve drinking eggnog and lambanog live stream or something until midnight. But yeah, if you if you. If you're uh, wanting some, Mr. Bulbul, I can save some, definitely for sure, until January 9th. But I wouldn't drink it after that because it's got so much milk and egg in it. A lot of times we also put like whipping cream and like uh, cinnamon or nutmeg or other spices on it to make it really delicious. I'm just drinking it normally. So... I think a lot of kids also like this. So this version here is non-alcohol. It's just like milk. But once you mix it with the alcohol, that's where the Christmas magic happens. So it is – I love being able to try the um, – all the different Christmas cocktails and things like that. So I live in a part of Seoul, which has a lot of foreigner – areas and a lot of the places are having christmas cocktail specials so that'll be good to maybe go tomorrow or tonight and try those i can tell this emperor door is making my face red i can see <laughs> i'm starting to get a little drunk a little flushed so might have to uh somebody asked if i can finish the bottle i don't know I'm only about halfway through, and uh, I'm starting to get a little drunk already. So I might not might not be a good idea for me to finish the bottle. Maybe I should save these two for Mr. Bulbul. He can try it out. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you want to do more live stream? So. 
again, I'm not really, I didn't really plan anything. I just thought, hey, let's have some cocktails. Let's hang out. Let's chit chat. So if live streaming is something that you think is fun, if you want to do it more often, let me know. In the live chat, maybe something we can try to do once a week or a few times a month or something. It's something that I kind of want to do more often, but I have to convince myself to do more of because uh, it's kind of scary to live stream. So maybe uh, I'll push myself to do it more. Shot at 20 likes. We're already at 16, John Kenneth. So I don't know, 20. Should we do 20 or 25? Maybe 25 likes and I'll take a shot? How's that? I don't know, 25 likes might take a while. All right. I will make a deal with you, John Kenneth. So 20 likes, I'll take one more shot. So that would be the deal. 20. Oh, I don't have, I can't do any text here, so. 20 likes equals one shot. How about that? So if we can do that here in the next few minutes, then I will uh, even get ready. I don't know. I don't know, John Kenneth. This might not be a great idea. I'll take a smaller shot this time. This might have to be the last shot because... It's a, it's a lot of alcohol for me. Yes, that noobs gaming. I always hear Mr. Bulbul say that, and I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not even going to try. Joy, Bur Joy Burner, how much your capacity to get really drunk? I mean, how many bottles or shots? Joy, that's a good question. It really depends on um, – how it depends on a lot of things. It depends on what I'm drinking. It depends on how tired I am. So if I'm really tired, I'll get drunk really easily. It depends on how much I've eaten. So if I haven't eaten much that day, I'll get drunk really easily. Um, it just, it depends. Sometimes I can drink a few beers and I feel drunk. Other times I can drink all night and feel fine. So there's just, it's too hard to say. So, I don't know. We'll see. I feel like this Emperor Door, though, is going to get me drunk pretty quickly. So, it might be a short live stream. Crimson Psych, that eggnog thing looks delectable. Wonder if I can grab one of those here. Hmm. Crimson Sky, so, I don't know. If you, yeah, I don't know. It apparently, it's quite easy to make, so you can look for a recipe online. I know um, there's a channel, Simon and Martina, or Eat Your Kimchi, they're called. They show you how to make eggnog, so it's not very difficult, but you have to cook the egg in it without scrambling the egg, so it takes a little bit of practice. Um, but if Crimson Sky, if you're – I would check bars – or restaurants that cater to an American audience because a lot of times they will be serving Christmas specials and they'll have eggnog. So even here in Korea on Christmas day, I can go to a lot of different places and they have homemade versions of this. So you can try it out there. Be nice. For which do you like red horse or emperor? Um, Honestly, I am more of a beer guy these days, so I probably would say if I had to choose, I would choose Red Horse just because I can drink it longer and drink more of it. I, I like beer. This is good. It's the smoothest uh, like alcohol, like liquor that I've tried from the Philippines, so I've tried the Hanibra and the Lamanong and all that stuff. This one is much smoother. But if I had to say, yeah, I would definitely go for the Red Horse. I like beer. 
Your face is getting red, bro. Time for pee hurry. Actually, my face is getting really red. I know I can tell. I don't know if it's getting red, though, because of the lights that are behind me. Or if it's because of the alcohol. Or if it's because of both. But, yeah, I can tell <laughs> my face is turning red. So, it might be a little bit of drunkenness, but I think a lot of it's from the lights. I have bright lights right behind the camera. So, I think depending on which way I turn, it's a little more red. And obviously, I'm wearing a lot of red. Crimson, I just finished looking up. Definitely going to try. Yeah, let me know how it goes, Crimson Sky. If you make it, tag me on Instagram. So, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I know Joy follows me on Instagram. But if you are not following me on Instagram, I want you to all go to do that. So go to Instagram, taste so good and follow me. Oh, so if you were talking, yeah, here's my last post, the stitch of Mr. Bulbul. So yeah, if you're not following me, definitely go do that, please. I'd love to connect with you. Tell me who you are when you add me on uh, YouTube or on Instagram. Joy says, I remember when I was young, I drink also, but now I try before a 15 shot of tequila. <laughs> I was blackout hot. I could walk. Joy, man, 15 shots of tequila. Yeah, of course you're going to black out. Everybody would black out at 15 shots. That is a lot. It's a lot of tequila. Wow. Uh, ooh, I'm surprised. You could do 15 shots of tequila. I don't think I could do 15 shots of tequila at all. I would black out way before that, maybe by number seven or eight. So I think you're uh, you're already strong. Oz Clark vs. Versus, I don't know. I don't know what that means. P. Nicer, can you mix the eggnog and Emperor? It is mixed. So. I've been mixing the Emperor Door in here. There's already some in here. And this one, like I said, once the thumbs up, the likes for this video get to 20, I will take it as a shot. But yeah, there's already a lot of Emperor Door in here in the eggnog. It tastes really good, actually. Oh. I think that one's a little strong, too. But yeah, it makes for a good combination. So I think with eggnog, you can mix a lot of different alcohols in there. But I think brandy goes well with it. I think you might be able to mix like whiskey, maybe some scotch. I think any type of dark liquor, dark alcohol, mm -hmm. will go well with eggnog. Because eggnog is so flavorful and so rich and creamy. And it's a really smooth drink. I don't know how well my microphone is picking this up, but... My dog is totally giving you some ASMR right now. He's snoring. So if you hear that, that's not me, I promise. It's my puppy down here. He's, uh, oh, I can't see him, but he's snoring on my lap. p or Jack Daniels, yeah. I definitely you can mix Jack and eggnog. It'd probably be really good. I like Jack Daniels, um, and Coke, and Jack Daniels, and, um, ginger ale so you mix with a lot of stuff but i think jack and eggnog yeah that would be really nice so somebody mentioned mixing emperor with lime or calamansi so as i mentioned i think calamansi is impossible impossible to get in korea as a fruit however it's been kind of a trend where Calamansi juice and calamansi flavored soju and calamansi flavored. A lot of things are becoming popular. So a lot of Koreans know the word calamansi and they know what it tastes like. But when they see the actual like calamansi, the, the fruit, they don't know what it is. So apparently calamansi is supposed to be good for hangovers, I believe. So you can get like some calamansi flavored drinks here in Korea and mix it. But when I went to like Boracay, 
And all the food comes with Kalamansi. They can hear all the Koreans like, oh, what is this? What is this? So they weren't sure. But once they hear Kalamansi, then it's like, oh, I know. I know what it is. Jack Daniels and Coke is the best. That was my drink uh, when I first started drinking. So in America, you have to be 21 to start drinking. So I started drinking at 21. And Jack and Coke was always my favorite drink. So that's what I always drank. Um, pretty much all throughout my 20s was Jack Daniels and Coca-Cola with a lime. Always makes it better. We also called it a Cuba Libre. Cuba Libre. Lime juice and Emperor is good combination. Okay. Yeah, p nicer. I'm sure it is. Um, limes are really expensive. To be honest, many fruits are really hard to get. Either they're hard to get in Korea or they're super expensive, basically. And limes are one of those those fruits that are just – they're not grown here. Um, it's not the climate for citrus type of things. Oranges can be grown here in certain parts of Korea, but uh, to get limes, you're going to be paying – quite a bit of money and they're going to be imported so a lot of times the quality isn't good so even if you go to a bar and you get a jack and coke instead of lime they'll give you a slice of lemon or they'll give you like the world's thinnest little slice of lime because it's expensive getting lime juice um i might be able to order a lime juice on the internet somewhere so yeah, I'm not sure because this is all the Emperor that I have. This is my first time trying it. it. was the only one that I have. So I'm not sure how long it'll last. So I might not be able to get lime juice. Well, I think um, it's Christmas Eve. We've still got a lot of people coming in. So thank you for joining. So I'll hang out for a little bit longer. And then if, like I said, if this gets to 20 thumbs up, then I will take that shot. If not, let's we'll call it a night here in a few minutes. I'm sure all of you want to go spend time on Christmas Eve doing things with other people so you don't have to uh, hang out with me too much longer. But what do you guys want? Would you Are you interested in more live streams or what other content? If you're a uh, subscriber to my channel, then thank you so much. What kind of content do you want to see? So it seems like whenever I put out content, it's either hit or miss. So if you guys have any requests for any type of content you want to see on my channel coming up, then please you know, let me know what you want to see, what you're interested in. Um, I'll be happy to try to do that. So as 2020 comes around, I think there are some exciting opportunities for the channel. Uh, got some things coming up, some maybe secret things that I'm kind of excited about. Hopefully you'll be a part of that soon i can tell you more about it um and then hoping to keep delivering great content for you and improving and you know getting better equipment and upping the quality and everything so whatever you are interested in let me know i'm always uh i enjoy making videos that's the really the first reason i do it but if it's something that you enjoy watching that of course makes me happy more exotic food taste tests would be interesting, LMAO. All right, Chris, so well, what, what do you think is uh, an example of an, uh, an exotic food taste test? So I'm not somebody who necessarily sets out for the craziest or weirdest foods, but I like to challenge myself. So, yeah, I'm definitely open-minded. Um as far as Korea, then it's not always uh, – a lot of their food I don't think is that exotic. At least maybe it's not exotic to me because I've lived here for quite a while. So what do you guys consider to be exotic? When I think of Korean food, I think it's very, uh, very delicious, of course, but not always very like, oh, my God, so shocking. So – I'll have to – let me do some research. Let me see. Let me see. 
P, try to go to some places in the Philippines and drink with locals. You know, I would love to do that. So I am hoping to be back soon and spend more time. And now that I've kind of got a platform that I can reach out to people and meet people and do things like that, I definitely would like to. So when I... I've gone to the Philippines twice in the past few months. The first time was to Boracay, and that's where a lot of my Filipino videos came from, um, especially my alcohol drinking video, which is kind of the most popular on my channel. Um, but when I did that, I didn't really know anything, and I didn't know anybody. And I wasn't necessarily trying to um, create videos at first. To be honest, the reason I went to Boracay was to kind of escape. I wanted to take a break from YouTube and blogging and vlogging. But then I heard about Tommy Lok and I was like, oh, I got to try Tommy Lok in Kalibo. And so then it turned into a series of videos. So now that I kind of have a little bit, you know, a small little presence online, might be able to do that. So let's see. Saw your videos and giving some reviews, local restaurants like Jollibee, Mang Inasol, and Binondo. Well, be nice. Yeah, I have um, those videos. I have Jollibee. I have Mang Inasol, Binondo. Oh, yeah, the Chinatown videos. Yeah. So I've got that. So, yeah, of course, I would love to do more local videos. I think for me, the first few times going to the Philippines because I find honestly uh, going to the Philippines was one of my first times not doing videos in Korea. So I'm very used to filming in Korea and the culture around vlogging in public is much different. So I was learning about the Philippines, but also a lot of the things that I was doing though, when I went to Jollibee, it was really my first time. The same with Mang Inasol. It was my first time. So I wanted to experience those things in real life. I just happened to take the camera with me. But now as I will go back, yeah, I will probably stay away from those franchises and try to do more local stuff and go to less touristy places and things like that. So, yeah, stick around for my adventures. Really hoping to be back in the Philippines soon, really soon. Uh, I would love to be able to come back next month for the big festival in Kalibo, but don't think I'll be able to. Crimson, well, I don't know about Korea, but I'm pretty sure every place in here has some sort of weird food. Crimson, you're right. Um, and I think a lot of the weird foods are uh, – a lot of them I feel like I've covered, like the bondegi, which is a silkworm pupa. Um, yeah, I don't know. There are some interesting things. And some of them, if you go back on my channel, you can kind of find them, things I've already covered. And then there are a few things I still need to try. So we'll definitely get back to the, uh, looking for more interesting Korean foods. We'll definitely get that. Joe Toff, is that beer ginger? It sure is, yeah. Joe, it's really strange because my beard is ginger, it's red, but my hair isn't. My hair is brown. I actually do have hair, but maybe I'll show you my hair when I get a million subscribers. But yeah, I have brown hair and red beard. It's natural, it's natural. I don't really understand it, but... Apparently, it's a mix of European backgrounds. Gives you a ginger beard and brown hair, dark eyes. I don't know. Hirosa, can you do vlog like abandoned place? Um, possibly, maybe. I'm a little scared of that, <laughs> but possibly. You can see. I'd have to research that. I know there's an abandoned theme park somewhere in Korea. I have not been there, but I know another vlogger by the name of Cup of TJ 
She's from New York. Shout out to her. She went to this abandoned theme park. It looks cool. So if you would like to see this abandoned theme park, then you know, let me know and I will try it out. Um, P. Nicer, have you tried to eat some street food in the Philippines? Street food in the Philippines is good for Puluton. Yes, I have eaten street food in the Philippines, but not on camera. I don't have any videos of it. So, of course, I've tried like quick quick and uh i don't know a lot of different things all the there's still some that i haven't tried and i'm waiting to film those so someday i want to try like the betamax what do you call the helmet i'm kind of scared of that though uh what do you call nike or no adidas i think the chicken foot so there are a lot more filipino street foods that i want to try so i was hoping to do a video on filipino street food the last time i was in the philippines but it didn't work out um, for a variety of reasons. But, yeah, hopefully that video will come up soon over the summer. Joe Toff, is there Ikea in Korea? Yes. Actually, they got a an Ikea probably two or three years ago, I think. I think it's also the largest Ikea in the world, if I believe, if I am not mistaken. I have not been there. But... I've heard it's crazy, busy, crazy crowded. Are you a fan of Ikea? Actually, I've never been to Ikea in my life. So I've heard the meatballs are really good. Eskendi helmet is chicken head. That's good with the dough sauce. Yes, Eskendi. I have heard of helmet. There's actually um, a vlogger in the philippines i'm sure you guys know he's blonde um i think his name is becoming filipino becoming philippines i don't know he's always wears a head thing and he's lived in the philippines for a long time he's canadian or american do you guys know what i'm talking about if anybody knows let me know uh, but his friend ate those Chicken heads, a whole bunch, no problem. I'm a little scared to eat the chicken brain, but I want to challenge myself, so I will at some point. P. Nicer, what is your favorite Filipino food? Um, I am – yeah, that's hard to say because I feel like I have so many things I've yet to try. So Filipino food is just so multi – you know, and diverse and such a big variety. Of course, I love lechon. I think every foreigner is going to say they love lechon, but it's really, really yummy. Um, I love all the pork dishes. I love sisig. I loved – it's so weird for me to say, but I really love dinoguan. Yeah. Like after I ate dinoguan, I had been craving it. So, yeah, I, I think – that's if I don't know. Philippines just does pork dishes really, really well. Of course, I love adobo. Um, so many things, but I feel like I have a lot more things to try. But yeah, I really like sisug as well. Can you also do adventure showing tourist spot or idea destination, something like that? Joy in Korea because in Korea I've got a number of videos about that. So. My channel is mostly about food, but I go to tourist spots, but I try not to go to the really touristy spots because if you go to these palaces and things like that, there are a million videos on them already, and so I don't feel like I can really add anything new to that, so I don't really waste my time going there. So when I try to do different things... Um, I try to do it if I can do it unique or something that hasn't been covered too much. So a lot of times it's just the really touristy spots in Korea have been done a million times by all the famous vloggers. So there's nothing I can really improve upon. Joe Toff. I don't like Ikea personally. I like solid quality furniture, Japanese furniture, for example. Shame everyone embraces that throwaway culture. Uh, well, sorry, you feel that way, Joe. 
P nicer. Everyone loves Lake Chun. Try to go in one concept only like drinking alcohol, different kind of pulu time. P nicer. Um, that's actually a great thought and it's something I think about a lot. I enjoy drinking and I enjoy eating. And it's just something that I don't know if I want to make my whole channel about drinking. I really want to make it more about discovering foods and cultures and it's kind of the plan that I want to do. There used to be a really cool show. You guys can find it on YouTube if you search. It's called Three Sheets, I think. Three Sheets. Um, and a man traveled around the world and explored the drinking culture in different places. And he went to the Philippines. He learned about Lombanog and Tuba and all these things. He came to Korea and learned about Soju. It's really fascinating. And the show is many years old. I would love if I had the opportunity to do something like that. But as far as just getting drunk on camera all the time, I'm not sure that's something I would want to do um, that right now. So, yeah, I like eating. I like drinking. I love traveling. I kind of want to embrace all of those things. Skendi, his name is Coolest and his channel is Becoming Pinoy. Thank you. Yes, that is right. Skendi, if you're familiar with, um, he was with a friend, a girl. And she visited him, and they went around, and she ate everything. And so there's a video of them stopping at a roadside stall and just eating chicken heads. And she just ate them, ate them, ate them without a problem. And it was really impressive to me. It was really cool. Yeah. Um, P-Nice, you're like, you made collab with Mr. Blue Bull and Stitch Choi. Yeah, so that video was really fun. Uh, Stitch is a really good cook. He made that synagogue. It was my first time to try it. Really, really yummy stuff. Um, and then had a great time hanging out with them. We made the chicharron, the, the chicken skin chicharron. But, yeah, maybe. Maybe you'll see more of it. We'll see. See what happens next year. Um, becoming Filipino. Okay. Yeah, something like that, right? Becoming Pinoy, becoming Filipino, something like that. Chickens can live for ages without their heads. I have heard that. I've heard they can run around. We have an expression. Uh, when you're busy, you can say I'm running around like a chicken with its head cut off. Just ask, is your mama knows you are a pro drinker? He Rosa, um, I'm not sure I consider myself a pro drinker, but my mom definitely knows I can drink. I don't know. Is my mom watching? Mom, are you in this chat? Shout out to you, Mom. Probably not. She's probably working right now. It's early in America. But yeah, not only me, but the rest of my family. I've also got a sister who can outdrink me. Shout out to you, sister, if you're watching this. Uh, try to make some collab with different Filipino blogger like Pulutan Cooking Idea. Um, P. Nicer, if I've tried actually to reach out to a few different Filipino vloggers in Korea. Um, but none of them ever get back to me. There's one other Korean uh, guy that I've talked to. We were supposed to do a collaboration, a drinking collaboration together. And it kind of fell through, but we're supposed to get it together. Uh, his name is Young Wavy, I think. Something like that. So he's a cool guy. Um, but I think we'll get together eventually and do a video together. If you guys don't know his channel, you should check it out. He, I think it's him and maybe his friend or his brother. They're young Korean guys and they go to the Philippines a lot and try all the local foods and things like that. The good news and the bad news we haven't gotten to the 20 likes yet, the 20 thumbs up. So still got the shot. So once we get to that 20 thumbs up, then we can – or a super chat. Then uh, we'll take that shot. Is that your favorite drink, Emperor Door? Ha, ha. I don't drink with my friends. I love that. Iskandi, to be honest with you, I it's my first time to try it, but – I'm enjoying it. 
uh, I've tried the Hanibra, I've tried the Labanog, I've tried the uh, Tan Tanwai, Tan I don't know how you pronounce it, Tanwai, uh, and different things. But I think this is my favorite so far. Yeah. And I uh, try to visit the Pulutan Cooking Idea Channel. All right, I will. After this video, I will definitely check that out. 20 likes. Down it, man. I'm only seeing 19 likes. I'm showing 19 thumbs up, Joe. My counter says 19. So once it gets to 20, I think mine's the official. Are you guys all seeing 20? Mine only says 19. 20 on your screen. Really? Uh. Mine only says 19. All right. Well, I will trust you guys. All right. I'm going to, I especially P, P nicer. I'm going to trust you. Uh, I don't think I can refresh it. I'm using the broadcast thing. So if I refresh it, somebody's sleeping, it will mess it up. But I'll trust you guys because I'm sure you wouldn't lie to me. So I think this might have to be my last shot of the night. All right, so is anybody else out there drinking? Anybody else take a shot at the same time? Put some more. Tandui, tan, tanwai, tanwai ice, haha, the three colors. Cheers, Joe. Cheers to all of you. I think we're going to keep a smaller shot. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, Santa Claus. Oh, <laughs> yo, what in Rudolph's name is going? Oh, that's oh, Woo. yeah, it's about this time. I wish I had something to munch on, something to eat because after that, <laughs> I definitely need some type of oh. Let's dive in above us to eat. All right. Joy, I'm going to trust Joy. So if Joy says yes, 20, I'm going to trust her. Uh, my little counter thing. So as I'm watching, I can see your guys' chats. And then I can see uh, how many thumbs up. It's telling me 19 here. So, But I trust you guys. What do you have in your ref? Yes, what do you mean? Sorry. What do you have in your ref? What's – where do you – I don't understand. Your roasted cheers. Conbe. In Scandinavia, they like dried salted fish with their beer. Okay. Well, Joe, in Korea, a lot of times they also have dried fish. It's probably salted too. It comes in a lot of different varieties and you can peel it and – Dip it in uh, mayonnaise sometimes or gochujang, which is a red pepper paste. Yeah, I like drinking it too. Or I like eating it with beer. It's really yummy as well. Merry Christmas. I'm looking forward for your video in the Philippines. Eskendi, thank you so much. Um, I If you follow me on Instagram, I'll post the next time I'm in the Philippines. I think I'll have to look. I might have a little bit more Philippine content coming up, but... If you want me back in the Philippines, the best thing you can do is just continue supporting the channel. And, you know, even if I upload Korean videos, because I do live in Korea, uh, you know, watch those videos. That'll kind of help out uh, monetarily to make a trip to the Philippines uh, possible. So, yeah, as long as you guys continue to support the channel and if you want to keep seeing Filipino content, then, you know, we'll make it happen. Oh, speaking of making it happen, if you didn't see my video from the Legazbi Sunday Market, I met Mike from Making It Happen Vlogs, which is really cool. Crimson Sky Ref equals Pinoy for refrigerator. Ah, interesting. Yeah, I've never seen that. See, there's still so much that I need to learn about the Philippines. I need uh, a teacher. What do I have in there? Probably not much. I don't know. Nothing that – probably something that needs cooking. I should have gone to the store and got some snacks. I wasn't planning on getting this drunk. P. 
Be honest, do you have some food in your refrigerator? You can use that as Pluton. I, I can go look a little bit later. I'll be fine now. I'll get something a little bit later. Great thing about Korea, too, is that there are convenience stores everywhere. So I can step outside, and in like two minutes, you know, probably 30 seconds, be in a convenience store. I really love your video, like the Filipino breakfast. Escandi, well, thank you so much. Also, the Filipino breakfast was one of my favorite videos to film. So I think I tried seven different breakfasts and had a great time. So I, when I edited it, it kind of looks like I did it all in one day, but actually it was shot over like four different days. So I would get up and eat breakfast, and the next day get up, but put on the same T-shirt and hat and go somewhere else for breakfast. So I didn't eat that many breakfasts all at once, so don't worry about that. But yeah, I really like that. Um, it was fun to film all those. So I would love to do more things like that. I actually just did a video about uh, different Korean foods as well. You guys should check out. I was really proud of that video. I did a video. It's called like the five flavors of Seoul. And I put a little extra effort into that. So if you guys get a chance, go watch that after this. I really like it. Um, hi, everyone. Merry Christmas. Wonderful life. Hello. Welcome. Merry Christmas to you. Where are you watching from? Welcome to the chat. Joe Toff, do they have Christmas in Korea? Absolutely. Yeah, so Joe, Christmas isn't necessarily a huge holiday, but it's getting bigger. I think Christmas Eve is bigger than Christmas Day. Christmas Eve, people go to hang out with their loved ones. It's more of a couples, especially college kids. Yeah, 25 likes equals one more shot, one more shot, one more shot. Is it at 25 likes now? Because it's still showing me 19. Escandi like champurado, chocolate, and tuyo dried fish. I always eat that when I'm in cold weather. Escandi, I really wanted to try the champurado with the dried fish. But my plan, I wanted to try it like uh, at a very small or restaurant or um, like a outside street vendor type of thing. But I couldn't find that where I was staying in Boracay. So what I did was I researched a place that had a kind of an expensive champurado and it had fresh mango and caramel ice cream. I mean, if you watch the video, it's the last one. And that was amazing. You guys, I would fly back to Boracay just to eat that because it was so good. But I definitely want to try the regular champurado. So maybe I need to talk to um, Stitch Choi because I know he's really good at cooking. I'm sure he can make some champurado with dried fish. How many? Uh, I'm showing 20 likes. Oh, you know what it is? Somebody disliked the video. So on my screen, it was showing 19, probably because somebody disliked it. Who would dislike my video? How rude. But yeah, once we get to 25, if we do it in the next few minutes, I'll check here, then... I'll do one more shot. It's going to, yeah, I watched that in the beach. Yeah, it was so good. And it had this bacon that was uh, like candied. So they cooked it in sugar. Oh, it was so good. Like I said, I would fly back to Boracay just to drink that. Joe Toff, it's 21. Okay. I think mine on my screen, it doesn't show up and down. It just shows up. So I think it's showing... 20 thumbs up because there's one person who hit thumbs down. Maybe somebody doesn't like uh, seeing me get drunk on Christmas Eve. That's okay. All right, 21. Maybe it's 22. So when it gets to 25, this might be the last shot. All right, I will pour it. Oh, it's a little too much. It's almost the whole bottom. Oh, it's growing. All right. So once it gets up to 25, I'll take that shot. So feel free to, uh, I guess, share this in your, in your SNS. Tell them to come give a thumbs up. 
Yeah. Skendi, is there a lot of Filipino store in Korea? Um, would I say a lot? I don't think I would say a lot. Um, there are definitely some, but not a lot. At least from what I'm aware of. Um, near the, I live pretty close to the Korean embassy, or sorry, the Filipino embassy, and so near there, there's a few. But also on Sunday, in a certain section, there's a big Catholic church, and thousands or maybe hundreds, I don't know, of Filipinos. I think OFWs go to church there and then all along the street there's a little market that opens up on Sunday they call it little manila and there's home cooked food and beer and all kinds of stuff it's a great time um i went there for one of my first videos i tried then i went back there a few months ago to find balut and i tried it there so i think a lot of filipinos will go there on sunday and they will drive from all over korea to one go to church and then two get to try all the food because a lot of people cook just whole like buffets and you order what you want. So if you want spaghetti or adobo or barbecue or lumpia, all those things. So it's a good time. So I would love to go back. I go there. So I go there without filming it, but I've been there quite a few times. I like to go and eat there. 30 likes, finish that bottle. Uh, I think we're going to need more than 30 likes. Be nicer. There's still a few more shots in there. So I think we'll need more than that. Are you guys trying to make this man pass out? You might be, but he will not pass out because there's no Hanibra. That is correct. Yes. Uh, the Hanibra gets me like <sighs> drunk. This is just a nice, like chill. Uh, not too bad. I think I'm more affected by how much sugar is in this eggnog than in the alcohol in that. Because this has a lot of sugar and cream. P. Nicer, I watched your video with Mr. Bulbul. Which one? Um, on my channel, I have two. You were super drunk in that episode. Is this the one where we drank Hanibra? Actually, we drank Hanibra both times. Um, if it's the first time we met, then yes, I was super drunk because what that video doesn't show is I filmed that video with Mr. Bulbul in the evening, but in the daytime, we had gone to a Filipino um, festival, and that video is on my channel as well, but I went there with a few friends, and Everything was free. So I drank a lot of free beer. So by the time I met Mr. Bulbul, I was already a little drunk. So then drinking Hanibra on top of that didn't help. And then we drank a lot of soju. And then we drank some uh, Chinese alcohol after that. So by the end of it, yeah, I was drunk. Noobs Gaming is Myeongdong near there. Yeah. So... Myeongdong is really close. Are you talking the Filipino market, Little Manila? If so, yeah, it's maybe two or three, maybe four subway stops away. So pretty close, yeah. Um, noobs, do you, are, are you in Seoul or have you been to Seoul? Maybe you're familiar with it. And so where I am now, I'm also close to Myeongdong. And then nearby there is the market, Heihua. Have you tried the Tandwai ice with flavor blue, pink, and white? Which one did you like the most? I have not tried those. I've heard of them, and I have seen them, but I have not tried them. The problem with uh, – I like doing the Filipino alcohol videos. They're a lot of fun, and I like discovering them, but the problem is – I can't do them too much. So when I'm actually in the Philippines, if I spend time trying all of those and making all those videos, I'll be too hungover the next day to enjoy the day and to make more videos. So I have to be careful. So actually this I brought back from Manila the last time I was there. And because I wanted to try, but I didn't want to have a hangover in Manila. So 
I brought it home. I was there last week. Oh, nice. You should have contacted me. Yeah, if you guys are ever in Korea, hit me up. Message me on uh, Instagram or Facebook or contact me through my website or email. And let me know you're in town. And if I have time and I'm available, I'm always more than happy to meet up and have dinner or show you around, things like that. So I love meeting subscribers if it's possible. So if you're coming to Korea and you want somebody to – Kind of give you a little bit of a tour. Just message me and let me know. Uh, well, be nice. You'll be here in March. Fantastic. Message me or add me on Instagram next year, March. So about three months away. Yeah. Message me on Instagram or Facebook and maybe we can meet up and have dinner. Something like that. I'm always happy to show people around. What was the worst thing that you did when you are drunk? Um, who I don't know if I want to say that on camera there. I think that, uh, I don't know. I think I don't do anything that bad. I usually get really talkative and then I fall asleep. So maybe just pass out somewhere in a random bar. Just ask, is your Christmas incomplete without eggnog? Hero said, actually, no, it's not. Um. I haven't had eggnog in probably four or five years. It's been a while. So I'm totally fine without it. I just, it's really hard to find in Korea. So when I had the chance and I had the emperor door, I was like, oh, I just have to do it. But after today, I probably won't drink it for a few more years. Um, but one thing I like in America, even McDonald's at Christmas time has eggnog flavored milkshakes, which is really lovely. So I always like all those things. So yeah, I can live without eggnog, but it's always better to have it if I can. Waking up beside a sheep in stockings is quite bad. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely see how that would be quite bad. I... Luckily, I can say I haven't had to worry about that. Um, but I would imagine if I did, yeah, it would be a rough night. Seasick is the best. Scandi, yeah, so I have eaten seasick only twice, actually. I tried it somewhere in Manila, in Makati. And everybody left comments like, that's not good seasick. There's too much onions. Then I tried it again here in Korea. People said, that's not good seasick. There's uh, mayonnaise in it. But I enjoyed both of them. But I would love to. I know, uh, is it Cebu where seasick originated? I don't think it's Cebu, but you guys could tell me somewhere. Um, and I've heard the story of the woman who invented it. And then I think. She passed away, um, things like that. But I would love to try it out. Where Anthony Bourdain went. So I would love to try some more authentic seasick. But yeah, I've always loved it. Why did you transfer from USA to Korea? Um, ooh, that's a really complicated question. Um, I'll give you the short version is that I really want – I was young at that time. And I just wanted to see more of the world, and I always wanted to live abroad. It was kind of a bucket list type of thing. And getting a visa to Korea was much easier, and I could teach English. And it was a good way to step into living abroad. And then I just really liked Korea, and I moved here, and – have made a little life, so I've really enjoyed it. So I don't know if Korea will be home forever, but it's been home for a while, and it'll continue to be home for a while, I'm sure. But I basically just wanted to see another part of the world, which I'm glad I did. Pampanga, sea cigs originate from Pampanga. All right, thank you. I hope to go to the original place sometime. I think Stitch Choi cooking his video. 
Cook Seasick? Probably, yeah. Him and his brother are really good cooks. They make really good hamburgers and uh, synagogue, all kinds of good stuff. So I would – I'm going to have to tell him. Stitch and his brother were just in the Philippines for a while. I think they just came back the past few days. So we'll have to message him be like, hey, cook for me. He, uh, They have a restaurant located in Buchan, which is about – an hour away from Seoul. So we'll have to get together with him, make him cook for me. Make him cook some sea sig. You okay? Well, I think it is 9.30, guys. I don't think we're going to get to our 25 likes. So maybe I will take one more shot to thank you for joining me tonight. And then I think we might just call it a day. We've been going live for almost two hours it's been so much fun. I thank you all for joining me. So give it a few more minutes, and then I think we will call it a night. So if you guys would like another live stream, um, we can do it. So next week is New Year's Eve. If you guys want, maybe we can try, try to get Mr. Bulbul on a live stream, a New Year's Eve live stream. Wouldn't that be fun? But I don't know if that's possible. So if you guys want, maybe we can get together again next week and uh do that uh joe i appreciate that but i am definitely not gonna finish this right now i will finish one shot and i think uh the problem is if i finish this i will have a very hungover christmas it will not be a merry christmas you and mr boo boo live stream uh yeah new year's eve haha with drinking buddies it's possible i'll have to talk to him so if you guys want that, then go tell him uh, to do it, and maybe we'll see if we can get together for that. Maybe yeah, that would be a lot of fun if we can live stream together. Merry Christmas by Hirosa. Goodbye to you. Thank you so much for hanging out. Noobs Gaming, thank you so much for hanging out for the past two hours. I appreciate it. I'm going to take this in honor of all of you guys that have been hanging out tonight. I appreciate it. I wish you all a Merry Christmas. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, somebody mentioned a no expression challenge. Yeah, that's not going to happen. It was definitely going to be. Oh. Ooh. That is some strong stuff, you guys. Really yummy, though. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Merry Christmas, man. Feasting here. Cheers. Crimson, have a great midnight dinner. I would love to see pictures. If you can, tag me on Instagram at Taste All Good. Would love to see that. Merry Christmas. P. Nicer, keep in contact with me when you visit in March. Maybe we can meet up. Thanks also, Paul, once again. Merry Christmas. Enjoy your night. Have some fun more. I will. I'm going to uh, hang out with this little mo this little man. He's tired, but I spent Christmas with my, my family here. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope to see you soon. Cheers.